My Italian relatives are very concerned. They think that because I've been diagnosed with celiac that I can like never eat pasta again, let alone lasagna. It's gonna be okay. Because you know why? There's this great Italian company called ECBC that makes gluten-free pasta all the way from Venice, Italy. So it's crazy, but you can actually be a gluten-free Italian. Who knew? So today I'm gonna show you how to make gluten-free lasagna. So we're gonna G-free it. And I am gonna use bechamel sauce. And I'm gonna show you how to G-free that. We're just gonna substitute gluten-free flour. And you know my go-to flour is GF Jules flour. So that's what I'm gonna use. Disclaimer, this is the first time I have made gluten-free lasagna. So here it goes. It's three simple steps and three easy ingredients. We are going to turn on the stove on low heat. You are going to add half a stick of butter. So that goes in right here. Again, it's on low. We don't really want to get it going too fast. Then we're going to add in a third cup of all-purpose flour. Again, gluten-free, GF Jules. You are going to whisk this pretty fast. Okay, take this off the heat, put this pan on. Again, turn it back onto low. Two cups of milk, just heat up just a little bit, and then we're gonna add it into our mixture. Okay, that's just about enough. It's only been really about a minute. Turn this off for a second. Exchange. We're gonna add this in. Turn this back on to low. As you are gonna mix this pretty much constantly for the next 10 minutes, you can also add a pinch of nutmeg for those who like that, and then some fine salt. And if you really wanted a little creamier, you could add some uh, Parmigiano. There's a quick trick that like, if it's ready when it sticks to the back of a wooden spoon, so, so it's done. Time to put it all together. They are suggesting that you put this on the first layer of your pan. So we're just gonna use a nine by 13 Pyrex pan and put our first layer of bechamel sauce on the bottom and spread out. And then here are the noodles after they've cooled. I did add a little bit of olive oil to those so they wouldn't stick. It actually, look at this, it sits the whole thing. So I made regular marinara sauce and you mix it with, I have ground beef. That's gonna be our layer on top. You're gonna keep repeating these layers until you get to about a quarter inch from the top of the Pyrex dish. You don't want it to overflow. So just as we keep going, this is what it looks like. We're gonna add some grated Parmigiano and we're gonna keep going. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Now their recipe says to add butter on top, which I've never done. And then this goes in for 20 minutes at 430 degrees. Disclaimer, this is the first time I have made gluten-free lasagna, so here it goes. Give it a go. Oh yeah, I did it. That's hot. Gluten-free lasagna, made by me. Please go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe.